Okay. Well, this is my first attempt at a motor vlog on the road. One of the things I've seen some of the other bloggers talking about has been uh, uh, local twisties or perhaps the lack of local twisties. So I decided to drop the camera to the bar to the demo and uh, head up through some of our local twisties here in central Pennsylvania. Uh, one of the things that, uh, despite winter and the lack of a, much of a winter riding season, unless you're a, particularly if you're a fair weather biker, that uh, uh, disadvantage some of the great riding opportunities we do get are a distinct advantage. I have no idea how the audio is going to sound um, because I'm riding a three-quarter helmet with foot-down shield. It's not bad for wind noise, uh, but I'm not sure how it's going to uh, it's going to pick up on the on the uh, MP3 player I have strapped to my uh, uh, ear pad. So heading up the highway here now. Um, yeah, these aren't the twisties yet, guys. This is just uh, getting to them. This is the uh, road where uh, our townhouse is off of. This is uh, one of those wonderful 35 mile an hour speed limit zones and uh, typical Pennsylvania rural road uh, paving quality. But It's a fun little road to ride on. I'm riding the you know, in, uh, in manual mode. I usually prefer to put it in manual mode. Uh, sometimes when I get real lazy, I'll, I'll put it in the uh, drive mode or preferably the sport mode. And uh, we'll go from there. So I just cruise along right now. Speed limit 35. We're doing about 42. Really, really like the Dino. Um, he bought the bike more for my fiance uh, so that she can uh, ride. Not that she couldn't get the uh, the hang of a uh, manual, but uh, just more convenient for her and a little bit easier to. Uh, Make sure keep her confidence up. Yeah. So we're kind of on the water tower here, which is just about where the, the twisty part of the road starts. So we'll see how we can kind of drift through these between you know, 35 and 40. See that sign coming up here for twisty. It's just like the fun road, nice little ride, it, uh, it loops right back to that place pretty easily. And, uh, not bad, most of the curves are pretty, pretty decent. You give me occasional patch like that. Every time I come up here, it seems like the, uh, the road's changed a little bit. It's really pretty ride, getting to be a very pretty ride here with fall season coming up in Pennsylvania. Uh, down shift a little bit there, huh? Been like fourth gear. Well, that's around the only end of the twisties. There's a couple here now left on the flat at the top. There's still a couple of twisties, and then we start down the other side a couple, but uh, all in all, it's like it's just a nice ride. It's, uh, it's very convenient. Coming up on a jeep in front of us here. Somebody has off-roading. Maybe up in the game land. Maybe just going off-roading. Who knows? Who knows? Right 
Okay, I hopefully got it straightened back up. Yeah, we're on the down side of the shifty because of the twisties. Okay, these aren't quite as much fun coming down this way. Pull the zoom back out a little bit here. Give you a little wider view of the road. I hope, I hope I got that. I guess I shouldn't play with the camera controls. Well, we're in motion. But, hey, you know. I'm sure the audio on the scan is going to be a pain to edit once I find the point. I think I'll turn that audio off. In case anybody's wondering about this thing, I just did a, uh, a quick horn tap for one of the stop signs. So that'll give me uh, an audio point to, to sync up on both, uh, both audio tracks. The wind get covered by wind noise down on the uh, on the handlebar cam, and hopefully the uh, the recorder I have in the helmet will not be overwhelmed by wind noise. We'll find out when I get back here. It's a nice nice time to day here. A little bit of uh, sweater rain. Took advantage of a break in the clouds with a little sun and uh, get out and try this rig out and see how it works. And if it works, uh, next weekend we roll in the mountains rally here in uh, Holidaysville, Pennsylvania, a couple of miles away from uh, where we live. In fact, like maybe a 10 minute ride from where we live, actually. Where all the events are going on, so we may uh, we may have some of that vlog going there too. It's pretty much the end of the of the trip. We've got a couple of big wide turns coming here, but uh, nothing to write home about. Gator in front of us. Well, the third AC is keeping us there. Uh, you know, kind of over the speed limit. Some of those roads, you have to wonder the logic behind the speed limit, but. We'll take another little side road here. We've got a couple more twisties, and I'll show you that one too. Sends it back to the same place, but uh, half an hour or so from where this road hits the main road, and uh, everything gets pretty boring. So we'll, we'll make the uh, make the right here while this guy in the SUV makes the left. 